Okay, so hello everyone. So I am asking for apology that we will not be able to meet sa, through Google Meet. So I am sending this recorded video instead. So um, I am already sending you my apology. I am uh, I am recording this at home. So there might be possible ng mga background noises, ka mga batian. So I do hope you consider lang. So anyways, I I would like to present this video in order for us nga hindi ta ma-interrupt with the classes. So nga kinala natin ubrahon despite nga I, we are in a work from home setup. So I am recording this video for us to to um still have our classes despite some some connection problems sa balay so uh this as just as an overview para sa inyo so we are in a work from home setup so bong because we uh perform face to face laboratory classes so we are in a work from home setup for two weeks therefore uh Medyo struggle kita with the connection, especially if a uh, whole day ko siya i-klase and I will just be using uh, some, some cellular data lang. So, that's why I choose to perform the lecture classes through this discussion video. Okay, so to formally start, okay, so let us proceed with the organizing and presenting of data. So, if you remember Nino, on the first part of the discussion or the introductory part of the lesson, we presented about your data value chain and the importance of collecting of data. So, <clears throat> but ang pag ang pag process ng data does not only stop when you collect data. So, the data collected from a sample or population survey are usually considerable. Kag dinarecord na siya naton, kung paano siya naton, the order kung paano siya naton ginagather. So, as such, ang ini nga mga, ang ini nga mga data, nga gina, nga, ang data nga gakakollect naton. So, they are, okay, so, the, the data that we collected, so they are unordered. They are also, syempre, wala pa sila na group. They are ungrouped. And they are random. So, kung ano man ang mga data nga na-collect, no? um, because of the process you use sa data collection, they are unordered, they are ungrouped, and they are at random. Tapos, hindi nga part sa pag-collect ng isang data, the data set, ginatawag nyo sa naton as your raw data. So, raw data ang ato nga, gakapa. Examples in is, for example, we have a sample of 50 senior high school students. So, they plan to enroll in a, in fellowship of this college, in FBC. Imagine, for example, nga, university na ang FBC, ang, ang, ang fellowship. And, uh, this will be Fellowship Christian University. So, they were asked, for example, about the degree programs nga they intend to pursue. So, each student, pwede sila makapili exactly isa lang ka-program to major from the following. Pwede, for example, ang mga gina-offer ng mga courses are education, uh, we have agriculture, we have biology, engineering, environmental sciences, forestry, mathematics, and physics. For example, lang mo na mga courses. So, the responses of the students, so, ang kumaghamba ka, raw data lang ato nga gina, na gin-collect. So, they will be naka-plus star lang siya. For example, may ara ka biology, may ara ka mathematics, may ara ka, ang isa ka student, mathematics na maliwat, ang isa education, physics, and so on. So, ang kakatabo, so, if ever i-plastar mo sila in a table, ang muna ang pag mo, naka-indicate lang. So, kung anong mga choice nila, anong mga choice nila of the degree nga tinangla nila or the intent to pursue. So, abot sa lingon, may ara ka man 50, dapat ka-response nga, nga uh, naka-plastar in a table or in a tabular form or naka-table lang a form pero uh, wala siya na group. So, they are ungrouped. Another example is, for example, you you provided exams sa mga students. 
and ang himuon mo so that it will be random so ang ini for example for 45 students biang nagwa sang exam so discourse of the students so the ang entry sa imong table are the uh, kun ano ang una mga gin record so for example may ara sang 40 may ara 26 may ara 27 or any da mga value of scores so that means again this is referring to sa ginatawag nato nya ungroup data Okay, Arisha, this is ungrouped data. So, an ungrouped data set contains some tanan tanan ng mga information about each element of a sample or a population of study. So, dari na masulod, kung gusto mo nga medyo mas hapusha, you have to perform tabulation. So, do we have tabulating of categorical data? So, in their original form, Take note that raw data are difficult to process. Kagkabudlay sa ila i describe at the same time i analyze. So consequently, a raw data set pwede sila nato ni organize. So pwede sila nato ni display using a table or pwede sila nato ni plus star in a specific na graph. So that ang ilang mga pattern which can help researchers, especially so kung uh, may ara na kita analysis nga i-perform para masapos i-interpret and at the same time, mas dasig maka-form sa conclusion ang mga uh, ga-analyze. So, a raw data set is usually, gina in, uh, they are numerically coded, gina, especially sa bag-usabong mga technology, gina-encode sila numerically, gina-fed natin sa machine readers, kagina sa kagina subject naton to appropriate ka mga statistical software. So that means para masapos kinangalan natun danay i-perform ang ang tabulation of categorical data. Diri na masulod ang concept of your frequency distribution. So sir ano na siyang frequency distribution? Okay, kun nakaagi ka STEM, you were already familiar with frequency distribution. So, but since I am considering hindi ta na nag-stem, so I'll, let me present frequency distribution. Anong frequency distribution? Maghamba ka frequency distribution, especially for a categorical data. This displays sa tanan-tanan niya categories nga ara sa imong uh, uh, ginastadihan ng population. Same also with the number of elements or observation nga, nga nabilong sa kada specific na category. So, ang ginihimo natin to construct a frequency distribution table for a categorical data set, ang sari-sari na mga categories, ginag-plastar natin sa first column sa atong nga table, it should be listed next ang... Um, tanan tanan nga recorded observation of raw data set ginaplastar naton sa next naman nga column by tallying sa mga values so magkamba ka tali uh, do parius na ginhimo natin kung mag election sa classroom or mag election sa SG wherein we <coughs> are performing sang tali naka amamo ni or for example naka square kada iya okay so pwede man japon okay
relative frequency and you have your percentage distribution which are related to each other kay ang imo nga percentage distribution is also taken from the answer mo sa relative frequency so ano ang relative frequency so maghamba ka relative frequency that is the categorical ratio sa aton nga frequency of the uh, in relation to the categorical sum sa tanan-tanan ng mga frequencies. So, both sining on ratio, sang sining ang mga values sa third column with the total value. So, in general, ang formula for relative frequency. So, relative frequency. So, sa mga nakastem, this is just a review. Sa mga wala nakastem, this is your first view. This is your referring to your frequency of category. Isa ka category, yung ginakonsider. And we will have your sum of all categories. Of all frequency, I mean. So, sum of all frequency. This is your Fi all over total value nga N. Okay, so, <clears throat> so, this is the frequency Take note lang, ito na sa sum na ba, ang frequency or relative frequency will be dapat equal to 1. So, take note lang, sum of all relative frequency should be equal to 1 or approximately equal to 1 kung ang aton ng mga relative frequencies are rounded off. So, approximately equal to 1 kung nag-round off ka. Okay, so try natin, suma. If this is 0 0.08, so we have plus 0 0.08 plus 0.2 plus 0.2. So plus 0.14 plus 0.1 plus 0.2. 
Looking at this, ang yung mga answer dapat should be 100% ang total. Okay, so that is what is happening with your frequency distribution and your percentage distribution. Ang tanan nga values, so pwede mo siya i-represent man ang categorical data natin through a graph. So, uh, damo kita type of graphs nga pwede gamiton to represent your data. Pwede ka kagamit bar graph. So, I know na familiar na ka mo with a specific nga bar graph. So, but si Lingon, ang himuon mo is you have sining a value. Your, for example, agriculture. So, okay. So, we have... Ang himuon mo man lang is, for example, you have agriculture, agri. You have your biology. Okay, so, abon eh. So, may ari ka specific nga value. So, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 as a sababaw. And then, himuon mo. For example, So, So, medyo familiar So, pwede nga naka-horizontal, pwede naka-vertical nga bar graph. Also, pwede mo man i-present ang mga na graph through a pie chart. So, um, pwede ka kagamit pie chart para i-represent ang tanan nato na 